So what we have here is the SC1314, otherwise known as the Columbia 1314. It's a debridement instrument, specifically known as the Universal Curette. It has a complex, rigid shank, meaning that it can be used to remove moderate to heavy calculus. It's double-ended and paired. It has a semicircular cross-section with a toe, rounded toe end. It has a 90 degree angle from its face to terminal shank and two usable cutting edges per working end. This instrument is used all throughout the mouth, both supra and subgingively. In the anterior, it's adapted from the midline to the mesial interprox and from the midline to the distal interprox. In the posterior, it's adapted from the distal line angle to the distal interprox and then it's taken out and rotated and utilized from the distal line angle all the way to the mesial interprox. So this is the Columbia 1314. Now we will see it used clinically. So the SC1314, the Columbia 1314, is a universal curette. So the face to terminal shank is at 90 degrees, which allows both cutting edges to be utilized. The correct working end is identified when the terminal shank is parallel to the distal aspect of the tooth, beginning the distal line angle, tilt the instrument slightly towards the tooth to create a face to tooth angle of between 60 and 80 degrees, short overlapping strokes into the distal interproximal. Rotate to the opposite cutting edge, distal line angle to mesial interproximal, tilting the shank slightly towards the tooth to maintain face to tooth angle of between 60 and 80 degrees. In the anterior, utilizing the universal curette, only the outer or primary cutting edge will be used, starting at midline. Rotating to the proximal, the terminal shank will not be parallel to the tooth to ensure that you have a 60 to 80 degree face to tooth angle. To go the opposite direction, you flip working ends beginning again midline, 